Hey, good afternoon folks, it is Raphael from XX Raphael Productions and for today I am going to be talking about the upcoming Black Widow movie and this actually being released this coming July so the date is July 9th, 2021 it's gonna show in theaters and also on Disney Plus and as of today, we, today is June 6th so it's only about a month and three days from now alright, so before that comes, we're gonna go ahead and talk about some of what we already know from Black Widow and before we get into the articles, I will leave this article in the description below for, every, for anyone who wants to look at it. It is titled, Black Widow, Everything We Know About Marvel's Phase 4 Movie, released May 11, 2021, alright? So, I'm gonna address my own personal concerns with the movie because I remember being skeptical back then. I'm not skeptical anymore, I'm actually excited for it now, but I do remember before, like, after seeing Black Widow being sacrificed to, you know, for Hawkeye to accomplish his goal to get the Soul Stone back in Avengers Endgame, I was thinking to myself that, oh, so I guess that's it for Black Widow, we won't get another standalone movie, I guess, because I was thinking at the time that Marvel would probably do it if they had an interest, they would already have talked about it, but I guess the movie we're gonna get is actually a prequel, so from what I saw when I researched it a while back, um, it's actually right here. Black Widow takes place between the events of Captain America Civil War and Avengers Infinity War. So it's clear to me that this will take place back in 2017 chronologically because Captain America Civil War took place in 2016 in the Marvel MCU timeline and then Avengers Infinity War took place in 2018, so this means that if this movie takes place in between the time skip, that would all, that only makes sense that it would take place around the time of Thor Ragnarok or the time of Spider-Man Homecoming, which both of them took place in either 2016 or 2017, those two movies, alright? So this is actually really exciting because we're gonna take Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super as an example, you remember how Goku, after he defeated Majin Buu, there was a 10 year time jump to the end of Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball Super takes place in that time year. I'm sorry, takes place in a time skip. That's the better word for that. So, that means that Marvel has plenty of opportunities to set up any future Phase 4 storylines, because this takes place between Civil War and Infinity War, so it goes to show how, um, what happened during those times that Team Captain America were on the run from the government. So they have a lot of good stories to potentially show to the audience. Now, I also heard the villain will be Taskmaster, so Robert Downey Jr. was also put in the cast. This also makes it really exciting for any Iron Man fans who want to see um, Tony Stark in any movie that is after Avengers Endgame. Well, obviously this can simply be flashbacks. So we, the movie's not released yet, so it's really all speculation on for now. But it's just really good to see Iron Man again after his sacrifice in Avengers Endgame. So, yeah, this is gonna be good for Black Widow. I guess we can get some more of her mysterious past that was kind of foreshadowed in Age of Ultron a while back. So if you recall, there was the whole like the Budapest mission. I guess um, I'm look at I'm not actually looking up right now in this article Budapest mission. So clearly I'm looking at it right now and yeah, so Hawkeye actually referenced it back when they were traveling to Vormir, I guess, back in Avengers Endgame. So right now it's really just all theories and speculations and I'm really, really excited to see more of her character finally shine in this movie as well. And we'll definitely set up any future MCU storylines, I'm sure about that. So yeah, let's go ahead and read this article. So. In true super spy fashion, Marvel Studio is keeping many details of Black Widow tightly guarded. Like I said before, this article will be in the description below for anyone who's curious. And the company has revealed some footage from the film via trailers and television ads. So I'm not going to show it in this video because I don't want to get copyrighted, but you can look it up as well. I'll, it'll be in the description as well. And some other good thing is that David Harbour will be in the Black Widow movie as well. Now, good thing about this is that David Harbour is an actor in Stranger Things, so 
These are two of my favorite like franchises that I am going to be reviewing. I will also review Stranger Things season four when it comes out, maybe 2022 or late 2021. But either way, folks, it's a really exciting year, and hopefully these will deliver. So I'm excited for the Black Widow movie. I heard that. I also heard that the Black Widow movie is similar tone to Captain America: The Winter Soldier and Captain America: Civil War. So if you recall, in those movies, they never really went too far into comedy. It was kind of a dark tone, which I liked. So if this movie will contain the kind of tone. This will be definitely one of the best Marvel movies, definitely. Now, addressing some concerns, because I know some people might say, well, what's the point? I mean, Black Widow is dead already, so what's the point of doing a movie of this in 2021? Well, it's not really the point. The point is that we already, okay, let's go ahead and take Captain America the First Avenger. We already knew Captain America will survive this movie. So, Black Widow, we already know her predestined I'm sorry, her destination is that to die in Avengers Endgame, but that's not the point here. So, the point here is that the, this movie can set up any future storylines that they want to build up on. They will set up Taskmaster, which we haven't yet seen until this movie, and it is still, they still have a lot of ways to make this unpredictable. Like, like I said before, Dragon Ball Super is taking place in the time skip between Dragon Ball Z, Kid Buu Saga, and the end of Dragon Ball Z. So. It's not really a problem in the long run. The only concern is how Marvel executes the storyline. So it's still an exciting movie to look forward to, folks. All right. So yeah, I will link the trailers in the description below. I will also link the article I'm reading. And obviously, if you, I will be in the theaters seeing this movie on July 9th with my dad, and I will make a review. On this movie and it, it will be submitted either July 9th or July 10th depending if I'm busy on the same day all right but either way folks I am very excited for this movie to kick off phase 4 of Marvel and whatever future storylines they have put in so that's all for this video it's simply just to talk about this movie and also talk about why this movie is actually exciting despite it coming pretty late all right so, Raphael out, and I will see you soon in my next video, where I will probably review the Justice League Snyder Cut next, alright? So, I'll see you in that video, stay tuned.